Hello, my name is Alex. About one year ago, I recorded a quick YouTube video showcasing my 2006 Golf GTI. A lot has changed within that year, and this is just a quick little update to showcase what has been done. The car is currently sitting on Stance Plus Ultra coilovers, being approximately 45mm lower than standard. As well as the coilovers, the car is currently on 15mm spacers, giving it a nice little bit of poke, but not too much. Moving on to the front of the car, I do have some depot projector headlamps fitted with some LED H7 bulbs, shortened number plates, red GTI badge, and hollowed out honeycomb fog light surrounds. So regarding the bodywork of this car, it was in a very good condition when I purchased it, however, the passenger side wing was going rusty, so this has been replaced and resprayed. Coming around to the back of the car, the lower valance has been sprayed in tornado red to match the rest of the bodywork. We have replaced the rear lights with some LED Euro style John lights. GTI badge has been replaced with a red and chrome one and we have kept the rear wiper instead of deleting it. So under the bonnet, we have the Ram Air oversized induction kit. When I ordered this item, I wasn't expecting it to be as large as it was. However, I'm still happy with how it sounds and looks. As we can see, the original engine cover is still in place, however has been cut and trimmed to fit with the induction kit. The car also does have a 3 inch MP development sport cat downpipe mated to a Cobra resonated cat back system and sounds phenomenal. I do also have a race chip fitted purely because I wanted a little bit more performance before I went stage 2 plus. Moving on inside the car, the first thing I have done is I've changed the original grey mats for some nice black GTI mats. They are a little bit grubby due to the current weather we're experiencing, but normally I try to keep them quite clean. Both rear vents have been replaced, as when I bought the car, one of the little levers had been snapped off. The little blind in the centre console, where you have your cup holder, has also been replaced, as that also had the tab broken off. I also sourced and fitted an OEM glove box that doesn't have the phone holder. We currently have a Pioneer SPH DA250 DAB fitted. Also have the DAB aerial. Do have a dash camera fitted as well. This is wired into the fuse box. Moving over to the driver's side of the dashboard, I have retrofitted some multifunction steering wheel controls and cruise control. In the future, I would like to change the instrument cluster to either a colored display or the Highline display. All four door handles have had their soft touch coating sanded off, resprayed in a matte black and finished off with new window switches all around. 